Hello guys, welcome to this new video. On this time, I'm going to show you how to configure a full mesh VPN topology with 340 gates using the firmware version 6 to 1 on every device. As we can see, here we have the 40 gate number 1 with the firmware version 62.1, the 40 gate number 2, as well as the 40 gate number 3. All these 340 gates are on firmware version 6 to 1, as well as the 40 manager. So let's go to VPN manager. We are going to create a new community. It's very important that all the 40 gates that are inside the community have the correct configuration. In this term, you cannot have any 40 gate that it's not going to have the configuration of the VPN. So at this time we are configuring the general settings and this is something very important to contemplate. The use of the default zones. I would strongly recommend that you can use zones to configure your policies as we are going to see in a while. Once we have the configuration of the full mesh, we can see the general settings just to double check the things that we have already configured. As we could see, on the first step, basically, is to add what is the encrypted network source. In this case, for the network for the device number two, we are selecting the network segment 17, as we can see on the diagram, and we are going to select the device. You need to identify which one is your 48 according to your network topology. And the default VPN interface is the, the, the interface that you are going to use the internet or the connection with the VPN. In this case, I would strongly recommend that you can install using the install wizard and not using directly the reinstall option. We already can see the VPN configuration inside the 40 gates. but we can see down the VPNs. The reason why they are down is that we need to configure the policy package. On this case, I am going to configure the policy package for the first 40 gate. We are going to select that the source is the port three, that is my internal network, and we are going to allow the connection to the VPN manager mesh. That is something very important that you need to, to, to use. VPN manager mesh. Again, here I'm going to select port number three as source and destination. We are going to select VPN manager full mesh mesh, right? And once we have already the configuration, then we can proceed to reinstall the policy package. Remember, always try to see what is the configuration that you are going to install. On this case, because we have control the scenario, we can do directly the reinstall policy package. And once we apply the connections, we can see that the VPN IPsec are up. But in this case, we only have one 48 in every side, 48 white and 48 two. So what would happen if we need to add another 40? In this case, as you can see, you are going to do the same procedure. The default VPN interface is going to be in the port two. And once we add the device, we are going to be able to create um, faster the VPN interfaces. At this moment, we can check also that on the 48 number three, 
we don't have any interface configure associated with the VPN as well as on the FortiGate number two and FortiGate number one. We, do, we only have one IPsec on FortiGate one and FortiGate two and on the FortiGate three, we don't have any IPsec. After reinstalling this configuration, it will automatically install the VPNs on FortiGate one. He's going to install another, Fort, another VPN and it's going to add another IPsec on the FortiGate number two. And in the FortiGate number three, he is going to install two IPsecs. However, the VPNs should be down, at least the ones that has the FortiGate number three. The reason why the tunnels are down is because we don't have the policy package for the FortiGate number three. Then we proceed only to configure the policy package on the FortiGate number three. We create a new policy ID, source port three, as our topology is, destination full mesh mesh and we can install it only on the set on the third device but it just to double check we are going to reinstall it on all the three devices And that's all guys. Now we have the tunnel IPsec up or all, all the 40 gates. We have two IPsec on every device and we are going to see on monitor that the six tunnels are up. So if you have any question, let me know. It's always recommended that if you struggle something, you can open a case directly on the Fortinet tag support. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day.